Next we have the sternum. The sternum is commonly called the breastbone. It's found on the midline anteriorly in the body. Uh, the sternum in includes three bones. This one, this one, and this one. The um, top bone of the sternum is the manubrium. The middle one is the gladiolus. And this little projection down here is the xiphoid process. Um, we have a series of ribs. We have um, three, we gotta go to the other one. We have three types of ribs in the body. So if I turn this skeleton a little bit, we can find those three types. I'm gonna start down here most inferiorly. We have two vertebral ribs. Sometimes these are referred to as floating ribs. They don't really float, they tuck into muscles, but they have only one attachment site, which is on the ver vertebral column, hence the name vertebral ribs. The next three ribs, these three, are called vertebral chondral ribs. Vertebral chondral ribs articulate with the vertebrae posteriorly, and they articulate only with cartilage anteriorly. Here's the coastal cartilage of these, notice, they go up and articulate with the coastal cartilage on the ribbon uh, above them. So these are vertebral chondral, meaning cartilage, ribs. The next seven ribs articulate via their coastal cartilage to the sternum. Hence their name is vertebral sternal ribs. Vertebral in the back, sternal in the front. And there are seven of those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. This is a rib. All you need to do is be able to recognize it as a rib. It's a nice C-shaped bone. Nothing else looks like it.